Bienvenue to St. Louis, or shall I say, bonsoir y bienvenue at Studio STL. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and we are getting a taste of France this afternoon. Joining us is Natasha Douglas. She's with the French Crepery, alongside of Lila. She is here helping us out this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me today, ladies. Thank you for having us. Of course, and this is kind of really cool. You guys have been open for some time now, but you have some exciting news. Yes. Spill the tea, Natasha. Okay, so yes, it hasn't been a year yet, but we are going to open full time. Ooh, congratulations. <laughs> so right now we are only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but we're going to open from Monday to Sunday and um, and be open during the week. So I love we're excited. that. <laughs> and it really is kind of a testimony to you and your story. I mean, you've been here for some time in St. Louis yes. now, celebrating our French culture, but that's a little bit of your culture too, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Where are you from? So uh, originally from the French Caribbean called Guadeloupe. So I speak French, Creole, and I hope I speak English. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're doing it well, girl. You're doing it well. I love that. Well, just in time for 314 Day, it really does show, yes. showcase that you really are a, a St. Louisan. Yes, yes. And you are celebrating a business, which is what we are all about here in St. Louis, showcasing, showing love and support for all of our community and business owners. Yes. So congratulations on Thank here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations on going full time. Shall we make some crepes? Yes, let's make let's some crepes. Let's do it. Let's do it. I let's wanted to it. show you how to perfectly spin out a French okay. crepe. Okay. Okay. How should I? Yes. Perfectly spin out a French crepe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how to do that. So the batter is already made. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is scoop it. Okay. And put it in the middle. But then we want to hold this like a pencil. So let's practice first. Okay. Let's practice. And then we'll just go ahead and put it down. And then it's all on the wrist. So keep it on the on the crepe machine okay. and keep going down this way. Okay. Don't switch direction. Okay. okay. Look at the flicker there. Yes. yes. So let's go ahead and practice. <laughs> let's go ahead and practice. Oh so you will go ahead and take a little uh, uh, scoop, put okay. it in the middle. Just a little bit of it. And a then little you, scoop? Yes. Should I put more? A little bit more, but okay. you should be okay. Yes. Because you can always add some more. Okay. And straight and, in the center, right? Yes. Right in the okay. center. And then all you will do is exactly the technique that I, I showed you, which is like spinning out some crepe. Okay. Just like this. Let's see. Nice. This is the technique. Yes, good oh, job. I stopped and she told yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you can always add some more. Okay. And then we have. Some more. Yes, you can add some more. And then we have the spatula here that will, you would use to like put everything in. Okay. And then. Um, when you're done, let me know. And then we can have Lila here show you how to like perfectly decorate a crepe. Okay. Uh, crepe needs some yeah, you, you need, uh, I like to call it, you need crepe surgery. Exactly. Uh, so we'll do that in a little bit. <laughs> but once you're done, we, Lila is going to make one of our uh, most popular crepe, okay. which is the Separi. Ooh, Separi. We ha which has strawberry, mm -hmm. bananas, mm -hmm. and then uh, also a Nutella. Oh my God. So we just like literally we'll push up with the, the strawberry, then the banana, mm -hmm. and then um, we'll just finish it. So when we serve our crepe, we really make sure that um, we make it pretty mm -hmm. at the end. But what I just taught you here is we do have crepe making classes. Mm -hmm that we teach uh, people how to make crepe. And I've actually gotten to go to yes. a crepe making class. Yes. And you really do crepes for all ages, young, old, yes. or young Kids. at heart. <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect. Oh, you know, and then she oh will. Oh my gosh, And then so we'll, I'll just help her with the decoration. Mm -hmm. And then, yes. Oh How good does that look? Gosh. And you cannot do anything without a French flag, right? That yeah, looks so good. Why? How do you say how que, que fabuleux? Très, très fabuleux. Très, très fabuleux. fabuleux. <laughs> oh Chef's my. kiss, literally. Yes, yes. Okay, how can people come and visit you at the French Crepe? Yeah, at the French Crepe. So we are located in the Valley, um, 17409 Chesterfield Airport Road. Um, you can't miss us. We have a huge alpha towel right across, <laughs> right in front of it. Uh, but like I said, we offer very much a lot of diversity. We have this. Uh, we uh, we serve yummy crepes. We have savory and sweet crepes. We have the classes that are so much more, so much fun, and they are six to seven thirty p.m. every day. 
uh, mon actually Monday to Saturday. Perfect. So with St. Louis, we'll make sure you have access on how you can support the French Capri <laughs> if you have never been. All those details will be right there on your screen as well as on our website, studiostl.tv. We're going to come back, talk more crepes with Natasha, but first we're going to get you up to date and caught up on your news headlines. We're seeing things inside of our studio with news anchor Mike Colombo. Hey, Mike.